Today is the day that many of you have been waiting for. Today, on Earth Day, Envision Blockchain is proud to announce the release of the 2.0 version of the Guardian. The Guardian is a tokenization solution that creates ESG assets such as carbon credits and carbon offsets. It has been nearly six months since we open sourced the Guardian as version 1.0 beta 1. Version 1.0 beta 1 was a good way to get started with creating your own ESG assets. It allowed the idea of full discoverability and traceability of ESG assets to be put into practice. Since then, numerous organizations, both large and small, have adopted the Guardian for their own business model. Guardian version 2.0 brings some features that are important to the Hedera Guardian ecosystem. The major features brought in version 2.0 revolve around the concepts of decentralization, traceability, immutability, ESG asset recovery, and rich documentation, along with other bug fixes. The Guardian version 2.0 is a game changer to the ecological market industry. Let's dive into some of the new features. We have been getting a lot of questions around how do you trace events that lead to a token event on chain? We have improved the UX to show the provenance with mapping between the documents stored in IPFS and the messages inside Hedera topics that show relationships between various ESG artifacts such as verifiable presentations, verifiable credentials, and more. We have added support for the root authority accounts assets to be recovered such as policies, schemas, etc. When switching to a new Guardian instance, you can just use Hedera topics. Now, Guardian users are able to recover previously created root authority account assets that have been stored in IPFS using only Hedera topic messages. We have implemented the concept of a project to the Guardian, which groups together the following entities. Root authority, policy, users and custom roles, and sensors with their associated MRV data. This allows policy creators to now specify separate Hedera topics for different projects, which correlates to different groups of entities. The best analogy is this resembles kind of like multi-tenancy. There are a few new demo policies to see how the Guardian creates ESG assets. One of them is the Vera Red demo for avoidance of deforestation. We have included a step-by-step -step guide in our Gitbook documentation for that policy. We have also enhanced the International Renewable Energy Credit Policy and have included a step-by-step -step guide for that as well. We have added more support for policy creators who may deal with multiple policies via the policy selector in the schema page. This allows for a better user experience when dealing with a large number of policies and schemas. One big change with regards to plumbing is the removal of the VC modules and the DID SDK JavaScript libraries. Originally, this library was used to publish messages to Hedera topics. We realized that only allowed us to send messages in a predefined format. This limitation forced us to create our own implementation of publishing messages to Hedera topics. Now we can allow Guardian users to publish messages in a more enriched format. This implementation is baked right into the existing Guardian service. Last but not least is a note for developers that a few APIs will be deprecated in this release and discontinued on August 9th, 2022. The reason being is that previously schemas weren't related to policies. Since schemas are generally related to policies and because of the improved provenance with mapping between the documents stored in IPFS and messages inside Hedera topics that we discussed earlier, these endpoints need to be replaced with the endpoints that contain the appropriate Hedera topic parameters. Be on the lookout for those new endpoints soon. The Guardian has made significant improvements since the initial release, and we think it's the best solution available for creating ESG assets. We can't wait to see all the great things you will build on top of it.